All right, I'm ready to be amazed. Welcome everyone to Cyber Dreams. Now, welcome everyone to my let's play of Dark Seed One. Ah, love it. Absolutely love it. Ah, the Dark Seed intro. <laughs> Patrick Ketchum, not to be uh, confused with Ash. So you see, Mike Dawson had a lot to do with this game. <laughs> For those that don't know anything about Darkseed, Mike Dawson is the main character. He is also the, as you saw, lead designer, and I, I missed the other one, probably developer or programmer. And yeah, H.R. Geiger, uh, famous for alien artwork, or the alien uh, sets. Maybe not sets, but, you know, like this type, this stuff here. Also very phallic imagery, um, as you're about to see. Oh, giggity. Also gross. <laughs> right. After a horrifying nightmare, Mike Dawson awakens to the first day in his new house. And unfortunately, the load times are insane on this game. Just in between days, though. I get that nice uh, circle wipe. That sure was some nightmare. It even left me with a monster, monster headache. headache. <laughs> so let's roll out of bed. We're already fully dressed. <laughs> shoes, My shoes, and all. <laughs> oh, sorry, I walked into a wall. Uh, okay. I take it back, the load times are just terrible in general. My head feels like it's going to explode. Okay, so if you don't go into the bathroom and take some aspirin, he just says that throughout the entire day. Right, come on, Mike. These nightmares have given me a mean, mean headache. headache. Monster headaches. That's what I should have that's why I should rate this game. I should have rated this game. So I hope you enjoy that music. It's pretty much all you hear throughout the house. I look great. Then again, the mirror is dirty. <laughs> oh, There's an empty glass. Mike. <laughs> yeah, let's take a refreshing drink of water. That'll get rid of the uh, alien embryo. All right. Um, a slightly worn old. Yes, yeah, so I guess uh, what had happened in that first scene was uh, that is al uh, Mike Dawson getting That's an alien embryo here, implanted into his head. Better not touch that. It's hot. It's hot. Like me, Mike Dawson. <laughs> but then again, it's dirty. Monogram on them. I'm already dry. <laughs> Not for long. An old fashioned shower stall. So Kim, we're just gonna bathe with her clothes. On. <laughs> so you have to also take a shower every day, or else uh, no one talks to him. Oh, he dries instantly too. Nice. That's impressive. That's really impressive. Right, let's move on. This dilapidated room gives me the chills. Must be the cold draft. <laughs> also, that wallpaper is like Here's falling off the goddamn wall. <laughs> I wouldn't be caught dead in that thing. I wouldn't want to wear such a heavy old Why not? coat. There is a bulge in uh -oh. the pocket of the that trench coat. That sounds creepy. Okay, we got a small piece of paper. Take a look at that. And the Lord of the Rings. Okay, it's overdue. <laughs> All right, so let's let's check out this bed. This bed in our guest room, I guess. This bed hasn't been slept on in Until years. Until I, Mike Dawson, sleeps on it. The sheets are blanketed with dust. And now so are my hands. <laughs> Mike's having a rough day. Those wooden planks creak a lot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mike always has to say something when he enters a room. <laughs> it's just Mike Dawson. The entrance to this house must have seen countless guests come and go. But it's just me now. I'm so lonely. So yeah, Mike actually says the same exact things every time he enters a room. He just doesn't always vocalize it. These leather-bound books remind me of my book collection still in storage. That's kind of Why unsettling. Why is that unsettling? These old science books date back a long way. The books would fall apart if I touched them. <laughs> okay. This old globe is a collector's item dating back But not this other one. The globe is rusted into place and will not turn. All right, so this gives you a hint that there is actually a secret room, actually in this room. So, 
just gotta wait for it to. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so we picked up the blueprint because why not? The walls seem yep. hollow here. Right, so there we go. Whoop, whoop. Okay, let's go through. So like I mentioned in this secret room is dark. Exactly, damn. Mike. <laughs> like I mentioned in my review. You kind of have to speed... Well, you don't kind of. You have to speed run. Also, if you close that door, you uh, screw yourself over later. So you have to make sure to leave that open. Let's climb up the ladder. Okay. Let's pick up this rope. A heavy twine rope. Yep. So that means that an hour passed. You spent an hour just roaming the house. So, well, how many times are you going to open the... Or ring the doorbell, Jesus. Okay, so let's, uh... There's a secret right, make door sure you here. keep that open, too. Also, I just noticed there's like a penis-shaped urn there. Interesting. I'm starting to think Geiger's a little perverted. <laughs> Hi, chill, dude. I'm coming. It's a very large house. I was trapped in a, <laughs> in a secret room. See, and now he says it's just him, but there's a count. There's a guest now. So, okay, so we got our first package, and it's a baby doll. I'm not entirely sure what this signifies or symbolizes in the game, um, but we get our first like creep out moment. <laughs> so I don't know if that's just Mike seeing things or what, because I don't think the baby doll's transforming. And I don't think we mentioned it after this. <laughs> because good writing. But we'll see as soon as it loads. There we go. Alright. So now back to what I was doing. Let's go back upstairs. <laughs> he steps so deliberately. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's go up the ladder. Well, let's, let's see what he has to say about the ladder first. This ladder appears to Ooh, Nothing gets by Dawson. <laughs> Jesus. This attic is full of useless items left over <laughs> Including from the me, Mike door. Dawson. Some of these windows need to have the glass <laughs> replaced. Uh, oh, poor Mike. Right, so, uh, can I read the newspaper? I've already read this paper. <laughs> well, we haven't. An old empty steamer trunk. Very, he's very excited here. about that steamer trunk. It's some skis here. Here's an old pair of wooden skis that need refinishing. It's not ski season yet. Oh, jeez, Mike, calm down. Right, I think that's everything in the room except for this. Treasure chest. A sturdy handle uh -huh. trunk. So we're going to move that move that trunk. All right, just, just slightly, that's fine. <laughs> Jesus, Mike. All right, third time's a charm. There you go. I mean, how how is that blocking the doorway? Okay, make sure to pick up a watch. And he's like, oh, there's a, there appears to be a doorway behind here. There's a giant gaping hole in the wall. What a tremendous view of the town also, from Also, why here. would you have an open, like... But the wooden railing looks as though it has seen better oh, days. Never mind. There's, like, this broken windows. It's, it's all the same. Better be careful. It doesn't look too <laughs> it steady. It doesn't look steady, so let's... That's a gargoyle. Let's tie a rope to this gargoyle. <laughs> it looks much steadier for sturdy. Alright, so we tied a rope to the gargoyle, of course. Again, if you've never played this before, you'd never know to do this. At least the lawn doesn't need to <laughs> Yet. It's because of the dark world. Spoilers. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. This place is a shambles. I don't understand that. It reminds me of my last This place garage. is a shambles. Now this baby could be a collector's item if it were properly restored. It doesn't look like it's been used lately. <laughs> That's a side quest. I'm going to restore the car. Here's the opening to the gas tank. Okay. The gas tank cover is Oh, jeez. Okay, so we're going to open the trunk. There's a crowbar Take in the, the trunk. Take the crowbar. Here we go. <laughs> Close the trunk. That's fine. There's the trunk of the car. All right, let's go in the car. <laughs> That's the sound of car doors opening. <laughs> this car sure is old, but I think it could still be made to run. Yeah. 
The battery still works. <laughs> I love that. A real work. The battery wheel. still works. Oh, yeah, there's that great dark there's seed music. Apartment. Doesn't I wouldn't open lot. it. There we go. Let's take those gloves. It's actually the most important item in the game. Uh, and I'm not not joshing you on that one. You need them at the end of the game. All right, well, let's leave our shambles garage. All right. All right, so now let's let's go back up the uh, let's go back up the rope. <laughs> don't wanna don't wanna get ahead of ourselves here. So you can't get to the front of the house the other way, but let's let's walk around a little more. <laughs> We've got some time to kill. <laughs> Alright, so we got the crowbar. Let's open up the chest. That's the only way we could do it. <laughs> that's that's the sound of chests opening. There's an old diary inside this trunk. Alright, let's take the diary. Oh no, it's a journal now, sorry. Uh oh, it's wrong button. Okay, alright. Jesus. Alright, here we go. Uh not reading all that, but it talks about the ancients, which is what has implanted the alien embryo in our head, or in Mike's head. So there is there are sentries, and there's guards in the uh, the dark world, and that's what it's warning you about here. Um, moved a mirror to the garage. The mirror is actually what uh, is the portal from the light world to the dark world. All right, so let's go down the stairs. Those wooden planks creak a lot. I say that every time I come in the house for this room. <laughs> I just love the sound effects. <laughs> let's, let's go up front. <laughs> Into this white void. <laughs> it's actually a portal to the dark world. It's a calm neighborhood out here. My house seems somehow out of time. A relic of a dark past. Or perhaps a dark future. I like how that's foreshadowing something, but it's really not. <laughs> Spoiler alert! All right, so let's get the uh, let's get the newspaper. Um, there's a crime wave here, so that's not good. Let's see, uh, wise choice: protect ourselves, property. Okay. Let's see. Did I miss anything? Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's just there for something to collect. I don't I don't think it really matters. The road seems strangely empty and unoccupied. <laughs> Aside from me, Mike Dawson, and these trees, and a house. That doesn't even make sense. I mean, I guess there's nothing on the road, but uh, I don't know. This town looks unnaturally quiet. <laughs> It's not quiet at all with that music, actually. <laughs> but why, why didn't the hill look quiet? It was it was abandoned, or whatever you said. Store with a little bit of everything for day to day existence. There's, no, there's some things. No, let's talk. Let's see what this guy has to say. Oh, I see the clerk. There's a bottle of cheap scotch. Cheap scotch. My hand will do nothing to the clerk. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, Mister Dawson, but you'll have to pay for that. He sounded nervous at first. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry, Mr. Dawson. How does he... Didn't we just spend one night here? How does Nerve he know yourself, us? Mr. Dawson. Okay, so now I can pick it up? Lame. That's the last bottle of scotch. Boy, Delbert's gonna be mad. He's gonna be mad. Hi, and there's you Delbert. must be Mike. I'm your neighbor, I'm Delbert. The, I'm Why the don't town drunk. Tomorrow? I'll meet you outside your place at six. You're a writer, huh? I'm a lawyer by trade. Why don't you take one of my cards? So if you don't know to do it, you have to make sure you check your clock uh, for precisely 6 o'clock so you can meet Delbert on the second day. But I'll show that off on the next day. And there's our get-out-of-jail-free card. <laughs> From Delbert Hostomsky. Hostomsky. <laughs> Attorney at law. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, so we're not going to drink our scotch yet. Nope, the town is still quiet as he screams it into the void. Right, um, 
the local barbershop where you can get your hair chopped off for six bucks. Maybe That's pretty maybe cheap. I should call for an appointment first. Okay. Well, sure. So, spoiler alert, you can't get your hair cut. library. A venerable repository of knowledge. <laughs> that, that's what you're going with, Mike? Behind a handsomely decorated structure. <laughs> I guess they just need a mic just to narrate everything possible. The water feels so cool and refreshing. I don't know, Mike. Just, just keep, uh, keep saying things. <laughs> you touched, you touched the shrubs. Nothing. Ah, <laughs> uh, good times. This right, so here comes of my study, full of one of the tricky books. things you got to find. Well, yeah, because your place is a library. Like it's, duh. All right, so there's a bobby pin on the floor here. Someone has lost a hairpin. Or hairpin, whatever. So pick up that. Oh no, it's bobby pin now. That okay. would be very impolite. The sort of thing your former <laughs> coworker Larry would have tried to do. <laughs> what? She's a fucking Larry. Extremely beautiful woman. She here, have a bottle of scotch. Staring at her. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> I'm gonna give her money. This card really should be kept with the book. Boy, she looked nothing You'll like the sprite Batman a second ago. It's the one with the green cover. Digitize the actor. Right. She's wearing glasses there. <laughs> what the hell? And where's she getting those books from? <laughs> sure. I have questions. It's sure quiet here. You could hear a pin drop. Let's go to see. <laughs> Luckily, I have one. Let's test it out. The rows of books in the library stacks all look pretty much the same. There's a green yep. book with a scrap of paper hanging out of it. That's the one. Okay, I think I, I think it just gave me the paper. <laughs> God, I always forget to change it. I know that I am doomed, so I will hide the pieces of this journal for someone to find later and hopefully solve the mis this mystery uh, which has baffled, baffled me let's see uh, old man Tuttle grabbed the key well, I skipped it <laughs> oh well uh, you did need that in order to um, solve a puzzle in the graveyard so let's see what does he say about the books these old library books date back a long time I don't see anything worth reading here <laughs> I don't like anything old and timeless. Alright, so let's get back to the house. <laughs> We've been outside for too long. Just gonna keep walking. At least it's nice in the second game, you can kinda skip around pretty easily. You know, I guess the map's not that large. So it's just kind of annoying having to watch him walk everywhere as opposed to just clicking on a map but that's okay so I definitely I like this soundtrack better than like the other ones like in the house or was it the garage I'm, I'm, I, don't, I can't remember now it's nice and peaceful all right so let's go to the was this the left side of the house so I'm clicking here but we're not going into the garage we're going to the next area. Which, up oh, this, road, this road is also empty and unoccupied. <laughs> which makes sense, because we're heading to a graveyard, I guess. Here's an entry to an old cemetery. Overgrown oh, with leaves. Man. Cemetery or cemeter? These archways give me a sense of foreboding. The cold stones send a chill up my spine. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Mike. This place looks like no These stones around. stand to chill up my spine. Time, there's no name on this stone. The stone feels okay. rough with sharp edges. As though it had just recently been chiseled. <laughs> but they weren't bothered the to put, very put a name on like it. It's been here for centuries. G3 Ford, rest in peace. I like G3 Ford. That's like a Sherry good suit. Day. She's far beyond anyone's reach. <laughs> what? What's it even mean? Mud. He was no Tribble at all. J -P -K. Tribble? What does that mean? S Nostromo. <laughs> he's, he's dead. Don't oh, the Nostromo. Nostromo Get is, uh... Back. 
You're on hallowed ground. John Nostromo's oh. from Alien. Here lies a man who saw beyond time's horizon. That's pretty cool. But why did like the random woman's voice just pop up? I'm very confused. Alright, let's do a quick save here real quick. Yes. Alright. Just in case we get into any trouble. Bobby There's nothing Jacob. that I can kill you in here, but never thought you'd end up here, it. did you? <laughs> what is this commentary? The inscription has eroded with time. I can't mm -hmm. touch that. Have I no respect? You've been touching everything. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, let's go to the mausoleum. Symbols covering this mausoleum. But I'm not up on my Egyptian. Uh, okay. The tomb door won't open. So we gotta click these in the right order. Oh. Up, oh, okay, there we go. Left, up, right. It worked. There we go. The door opened. So that was part of the the reading that we got, the page that we got from the Feels library. Like a cold draft just hit me, or is it just my nerves? The names <laughs> Could be on both. these caskets have faded away with time. I guess the Sounds a huge chill up my spine. Shut to preserve freshness. <laughs> what? This is the the dialogue is so bizarre. Oh, let's mess with some of these. All right, um, let's just grab There's this. A clock key among the ashes. Oh, first try. Look at that. Joe Tuttle, beloved. Do we just, do we just dump his ashes Patrick after Tuttle, a day? Beloved grandfather. Great. Mm -hmm. Now I have Grandpa Pat all over me. Ooh, I don't know if you want to say that. Julia, <laughs> beloved mother. <laughs> Great. Now I have Ma Julia's ashes all over me. Leonard and Tuttle. <laughs> Just put them all on him. Why not? Great. Now I have Leonard all over me. Leonard. Gary Tuttle, beloved cousin. Right, let's go, cousin. Now I have cousin Gary all over me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he sounded so excited for that last one. A peaceful place to meditate. Not that I have the time. Hint, hint. Wasting too I much can time up there. I barely see my house from here. I don't I feel like our house should be like the, the closest thing. Alright, so now we're actually gonna head back to the house. Right, come on. You can't read it does say Tuttle up at the top. I know I didn't go over to the right, but I will do that on day two. I'm just trying to save some time. Even though I'm pretty sure I've got I've done everything I needed to do today. Although I'm going to attempt to open up the clock, assuming I have, have enough time. Funny thing is, if you run out of time in, on the first day, uh, Mike just grows tired and decides to uh, walk back home and go to bed. If you're in a dark world when you try to go to sleep, he just falls asleep where he is. It's kind of weird, actually. I think I think he's got like a strict time limit, at like 8 p.m. every day. So Mike Mike's a early to bed type. All right, so let's go over here to the living room. All right, I know I mentioned that's a. Chilly draft blowing through this decrepit old living room. <laughs> Let me save it real quick. I think I just heard the the phone ringing, but uh, let's yeah, let's just replace that one. All right, so if you notice, oh, the phone. Yep, forgot about that. All right, so I will come back to this room. <laughs> it's gonna say if you notice, uh, and I'll click on it later. Uh, there's a, a picture of a xenomorph on the wall, so that's two alien references, which is pretty cool. It's probably more than I missed one, but... Right, so there's only one phone, I believe, and it's in his room. I don't know how you'd hear that downstairs. Okay, answer phone. Hello? <laughs> Hello, Mike. This is Sue at the library. 
We have a book on hold for you, so please drop by sometime. Hey, so let's go back to the library. <laughs> The whole journey there and coming back. I think she would just give us a uh, give us the book when we were first there. Of course, maybe it was to waste time. I don't know. Is it a trap by a game or just something silly? Eh. I think it's actually to give you a hint. Because I don't think you necessarily have to go back on the first day. But I forget, honestly. Okay, so since Mike doesn't walk the fastest, I decided to cut out uh, or edit some of the, the video. So we're here to get our book. Let's talk to Sue, the librarian with glasses and not having glasses. <laughs> These load times do kind of kill me. Hi, Mike. Mike, here's the book that was put on hold for you. <laughs> kind of face. Rat, 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 rat. Okay, so here's our second, like, weird cutscene. So all I see is says beneath our noses. Um, you're not expected to read that. I think it's just another, like, weird, uh, weird transformy scene. There we go. Tune in to the right station for a dependable word from a concerned friend. The cool thing is, is that, uh, that building, I don't remember it appearing in this game. I, have, I guess we'll wait see when we get to the Dark World, but it's in uh, it's in Dark Seed too, so that's pretty neat. All right, back to the house. Okay, now we're back. Uh, we'll go around the back way. Why not? Alright, yeah, I guess, you know what, let's try out, um, let's try the, the radio station, get that hint. I mean, at least the lawn doesn't need mowing. <laughs> yep, still a shambles. Is that an expression, a shambles? I thought it would be in shambles, but, you know, Steal what do I know? Steal from those who protect you, or you will not be able to protect yourself in the dark world. And that was the hint. I guess that's the only hint we get. So what that means, and uh, I guess I'll spoil some of the day two, is we are going to be stealing from a police officer. <laughs> that's what they mean by person who protects you. But I will get into more of that in the next episode. Because I'm going to end this one on uh, <laughs> at the end of day one. Otherwise, it'd be like an hour and a half let's play, probably. I mean, it's going to be anyway, but... Alright, so now let's go back in here. I just noticed, I think you can uh, see something on that, but... Oh, no, never mind. Okay, so we're going to look at the clock. What time is it? Oh, we got plenty of time. This... Grandfather uh, clock reverberates an ancient, endless tempo. There appears to be a plaque inside, but I can't make out what it says. The clock just break it is open. locked for some reason. Oh, good thing we got a key from Old Man Tuttle. Right, it was very important to do this. So it's dedicated to John McKeegan for 25 years of loyal service. God, nowadays, I doubt they even print anything out for you. John McKeegan was lucky. <laughs> Alright, so that's that's what that was. So Let's take a look at this, this uh, is very Xenomorph. Alien to me. <laughs> oh, I get more it. More dust on my hands. More, more dust. That's like the keeper of the scrolls. The its eyes follow me relentlessly. Because she needs me to do something for her. She just talked to us on the radio. Can we sit down? Old Victorian chair. The varnish mm -hmm. is rough. The cushion is tough. He's a poet and he doesn't know it. The varnish is still smooth. An old uh. oak table. An old velveteen couch. A film of dust covers the couch. I, there was not enough exclamation points for that. There's none. An old velveteen couch. What does this say on the thing? Come on, Mike. 
Figure it out. <clears throat> Mike doesn't control too well. Uh, they moved the mirror from the garage, but there's a piece cracked from it. We didn't do it! <laughs> we didn't do it, but we'll let you know if it turns up. <laughs> what a dick. So that was the mirror that uh, was mentioned in the diary. So it's cracked right now, so that means we can't uh, this mirror is cold go through touch, it yet. A grim reminder of its unyielding quest for my true image. What does that even mean? <laughs> this man is like an enigma wrapped in a riddle. Wrapped in another enigma. I better not eat anything coming from this kitchen until the cleaning lady has disinfected it. <laughs> The door is stuck. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't want to see the food in here anyway. Uh, the refrigerator we have a crowbar. seems to be running. A strange odor seems to be coming from inside. Why did you buy this house? I'm so confused. The cabinets are old and stained. Like, like so a wood stain or like... The shelves are bare except for the bugs. <laughs> oh, God. I should demolish this place. Let's just open all the cabinets. <laughs> Why not? I don't think there's anything good there. Nope. I think that means it's four. Okay, we turn... Ew. <laughs> yeah, it's time to demolish the house. Uh, can we cook something on this, this stove? stove? Hitting, and there's a faint smell of gas here. I Jesus. Light is out. Who, who put this house in the market? It's <laughs> time to put our head in. <laughs> well, I made a bad purchase. Time to this end my life. A collection of empty wine <laughs> bottles. The previous owner must have had some reason to drink. Yeah, look at the house. <laughs> Maybe the house looks like that because he drank. 1961. Uh, not my cup of tea. What he pronounced that too, uh, too perfectly to not be his cup of tea. Okay, they all say cup of tea. These are empty red wine barrels. They <laughs> I think the last guy had wine. a problem. <laughs> All right, let's go back upstairs. <laughs> Jesus, Mike. I think I'm experiencing buyer's remorse. <laughs> Let me make a quick save. Ay, ay, ay. All right. Save now in case anything happens. I forget to save after uh, after I begin day two. So let's put this guy to bed. It's been a long day of doing nothing. <laughs> I'm sure he's beat. <laughs> we went to the library twice. <laughs> Bought some scotch. Uh, there's nothing else to look at here. Jeez. Let's see, I guess we collected a bunch of them. I mean, we tied a rope to the uh, gargoyle on our house. Gothic art. What does it say? Certainly not my style, but it came with the house. Well, the art could sell it. Old and feels old too. And not even a hidden safe behind it. Well, sometimes they hid money in the frame. You should probably break it open. Okay, I'm just passing time now. I think I will go to bed now. I just wanted to show off what would happen if you let too much time go. <laughs> Mike just gets tired and wanders off to bed. So if you're anywhere in town, he'll just say that and walk home. Well, that does it for this episode. Say, so tune in next time and we'll, uh, we'll start day two and uh, maybe even enter the dark world. We'll see. <laughs> All right. As always, thanks for watching.